Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the latest episode of this Jesus Garcia My Player Karima. We're into episode number 65 here and we're just at home in Paris and as you can see coming up in this episode we've got a game against SC Laureate in the uh, league and then we've got a game in the Champions League against Juventus guys, the second leg of that nil-nil fixture we had at home. So we're going to be traveling away to Turin for that game guys. It's going to be pretty crazy so make sure you stay tuned for that towards the end of this episode. But guys, just we're sat here at our computer, we just heard on the news, we're just playing a few games and just heard on the news that Santi is now currently serving some time in prison, waiting his conviction, guys. What are we going to do about this, guys? The poll for today's episode straight away is going to be, should we go and visit him? Should we leave him there? Should we visit him in prison? Should we leave him there? Should we befriend Neymar and take the other side or one of the other options, guys? There's a couple other options in there as well. So make sure you hit one of them up and uh, we're going to get on with this episode. It's going to be pretty crazy as we go. Currently in second place, as you can see here, three points behind first place Bordeaux. And we're going to be looking and only two points ahead of third place Olympiacos Leon. Um, so, guys, we're going to make sure we get some good games in, in the coming episodes, hopefully in the league. If we can, it'll be really good. Dubai still top goal scorer for Leon at the moment, and uh, Jesus down there in fourth place with 10 goals at the moment. But Jesus is still topping the assist charts, which is really good. So, as you can see from the goal scorers, though, we are just... We're not doing too bad. We're five points or five goals, sorry, away from top place at the moment. So that's definitely doable by the end of the season if we can or not. We'll have to wait and see how we go. Arriving um, at the park defenses for this away game today, guys. And as you can see from the assists on the chart that we're looking at now, uh, Jesus is currently sitting top of that one with nine assists. We're second place, Destro only on seven. So we're two ahead on that one as well, which is really good. And we're going to be heading to this away game on the away bus. As you've seen, guys, this new car that we've got is looking pretty awesome. And uh, it's the same as last time, but it's got all the upgrades, and it's got a new paint color, and it's got and it's a lot faster than it was before, engine upgrades and all that kind of stuff, which is really cool. I definitely can't park, as you can see, which is taking a second go at doing that. And uh, we finally got in there, and we're going to be heading on to the away bus for two days fixture. And... Um, Hopefully we can get something out of this game because that'll be really really good to get another three points on the table As for the clean sheet so far this season as you can see Ariello again 14 clean sheets There's only one afraid of uh, Lafont now, which is quite close Which is looking good, but as you can see in the league as well guys We're doing really well 25 appearances for Jesus Garcia 10 goals 9 assists 15 clean sheets 3 yellows and a 7.9 match rating overall so far in the league this season Which is the kind of game we've got coming up now, which is gonna be a pretty big game So um, yeah, as you can see guys Neymar what about him? as well he's been playing really poorly lately he got sent off before he's just been um, asked to come back to play guys no one really showed enough damage to, to, to take his place uh, Origi did pretty well when he came in but not probably not good enough but I think he's gonna be back into the lineup for this game as you can see here guys we're in 18th place on the table PSG in second so we have to get a win here today we need to get a win here today if we can do that it's gonna be a tough fixture but as you can see from FC Lorient they're here they are at home they've got the home advantage and they're playing a pretty strong looking 4 4 2 2 4 4 1 1 sorry formation in this fixture and they're gonna be looking to get a couple of goals with that kind of formation and, and hold a bit more defensively as well with those um, two wingers kind of playing as wide midfielders as well as fullbacks with the defenders as well so they're going to be playing a pretty strong defensive line well, hopefully we'll be able to break them today they are in 18th position for the season which shows us that they aren't doing the greatest in the league and as for our lineup here today guys look at that Neymar back in the starting lineup Origi back on the bench and then we're going to be playing Neymar on the left Jesus at mid front forward and then we've got Di Maria on the right we've got Henderson and Zonzi and Kagala Caligari in the midfielder we've got Grish back Kimbembe and Marquinhos and Fosla at the back with Aria lower in goal as well so we're looking pretty strong as always guys Di Maria I'm not too sure about yet guys he hasn't really done much this season on the right wing he's only 82 overall now and he's going down every single um every single season he's going down quite a few stat points but we've got we have Lucas as well I don't know why he's not playing and he's much better but it's okay for now we've got Di Maria and Neymar alongside us guys hopefully we can use that to our advantage and get some goals in this game we need to get a league win if we can do it in this game hopefully get the three points out of this one and here we are getting it kicked off now against FC Lorient in the first couple of minutes and here we come in the first minute of the game and here we are making our way forward now with the pass to Neymar who lays it back to Grishbeck and we got a ball back nice one two there with Jesus Garcia to Neymar on the left wing here we got a really good chance to put this to the back post headed there goes to the man goes to Henderson who heads to the cross there another chance there back to Cagliari to Jesus Garcia and he goes and scores a goal just like that in the third minute of the game guys what great play from PSG to get that ball to Jesus Garcia's feet and a goal from outside of the box in this game only three minutes in and we've gone and taken a 1-0 lead here against FC Loria guys look at this header Pass, touch, finish, and a very nice way to do that as well. 
and after that goal we have taken a very nice 1-0 lead as you can see guys scoring our 11th goal of the season in the league only four minutes played which is really good and FC Lorient get this game back underway and we're going to be continuing on with a nice 1-0 advantage hopefully we can use that and hold it till the final whistle or add to it as we go along 30 minutes into this game now a little free kick here leads to a chance going forward now for Nzonzi to Neymar on the left we've got a good chance coming forward into the space now we've got a chance to Neymar can we get this back hit defeat can we work this around nicely we can we're doing really well here Jesus Garcia to take the shot takes a good cut inside opens up a bit of space there but gets it into the crossbar unable to put it in the back of the net and the ball is going to be cleared out of play and it looks like that's about it for this one guys and as we head into the next one trying to get tackled there Di Maria but then they would come forward down at the left wing now with Grish back on the left back position we're going really nicely there to Kakahari he laid it there across goal to Di Maria we've got a good chance great turn from Jesus Garcia great pass again but just losing the ball there and losing possession and FC Laurent are going to come away with the ball and make a chance of their own here. They come forward into the space now, pushing forward. Plata there, an interception from Jesus Garcia, and he's pushing on the counter-attack now. He's got a really good chance to run into the box here. Can we get this one inside the area? Anyone waiting in the box now? We've got someone at the back post trying to do a bit of a roulette there, but the shot from the player getting blocked, and the ball is going to be cleared away into the 45th minute here now for the game. And, guys, there goes the halftime whistle in this one, and we're going to be heading into the break with a 1-0 lead so far at the moment, and that's looking really good. 25th goal off the season that's pretty cool guys as you can see total goals out of all the games we've played 8.2 match rating We're actually having a really good season here still Neymar not doing very well his first game back after his suspension was over in the last episode guys if you saw that and uh, here we are continuing on FC Laurent now with the next chance of the game they're pushing forward into the space platter on the ball getting tackled in there looks like we might just get it clear and we do there it goes out of play for a throw in here and uh here we are continuing now guys as you can see I just got a booking for a challenge I did earlier you'll see why it was just a bit of a rash challenge out of nowhere really it was just chasing after the ball went for a tackle and completely mistimed it and lost the ball but guys as you can see there we've got and received a booking for that one in the 65th minute hopefully we won't add any silliness to a great roulette there from Jesus Garcia pushing into the space we've got a really good chance another touch around the player there hey Jesus to Neymar to Jesus again and the ball gets tackled after a good take from the defender and the keeper manages to clean that one up pretty nicely 60 Oh, 75 minutes into this one now, guys. We're heading into the last 15 minutes of this game, and here they come forward now. FC Lorient on the ball. They've put it into the box. They've got a really good chance for a header there, and Plata heads it into the ground, and it bounces on through to the keeper for a nice, easy save. Still a clean sheet for him in this game if he can hold this out for another seven minutes now. Here they come forward again. Lorient on the ball. They're looking to push for a goal. Can they do it here? They're going to get through in the last minute, and they've gone and scored a goal. 84 minutes into this game, guys. And it's an equaliser here for FC Lorient. That's really frustrating, guys. That's going to be a really tricky one to come back from now. 1-1 one, one on the scoreline with only six minutes left to go. This is really looking bad. It might end up being a 1-1 one, one draw from this game. Look at this play there. Working it around nicely in the edge of the box. A pass into the middle. No one marking him. He just dropped into a bit of space. And he goes and puts it into the back of the net for a 1-1 one, equal, uh, one, one equaliser with his fifth goal of the season. Rafael Martins just coming on as well off the bench, guys. As you can see, Brendan Galloway now coming on for Reeves at Frosler and we're going to be continuing this game on now with the next chance can we get something out of this game guys only five minutes left to go we've gone all out attack we're going to push every player forward can we do it here can we get a goal Marquinhos on the ball making his way forward we've got a good couple of players here Verratti on the pitch as well now we're pushing forward nicely Galloway there we're going to pull back to Jesus Garcia and he goes the three ball there to Di Maria Di Maria there to Jesus Garcia Jesus Garcia to take the shot passes it across goal of Marquinhos look at that a 2-1 lead in the 87th minute guys means we may just take all three points home after all what a goal from the center back guys and what a great piece of play that was from Jesus Garcia to see the pass on look at that a run from Di Maria cuts to the side laser it to Neymar uh, laser it to Jesus Garcia sorry one touch one pass into the box to the oncoming Marquinhos and he goes and scores a very nice goal indeed for his first goal of the season in the 88th minute guys after just conceding a couple of minutes ago we've went and countered them straight away and scored a goal back and it's now at 2-1 which is looking really good for us last chance of the game coming guys it's going to be here in the 90th minute can we make this 3-1 on the scoreline and really put this game to bed Jesus Garcia on the ball running into space here cuts inside opens up a really good bit of space for himself hits the crossbar again in this game for the second time and is unable to do much else with the ball there guys there goes the full time whistle and we're going to be heading out of this game now some of the recording has messed up here for the end of this game guys as you can see we have to finish straight away and the start of the uh, Juventus game so there's going to be no intro to the Juventus game which will be coming up soon as you can see there 
and we'll be getting straight into that one. As you can see here, guys, we're back home. Jenny here is just having a bit of a clean up and cleaning the windows, and she's pretty happy. I'm just letting her know that I'm heading off to Chile with the team. We're going to be playing against Juventus in the round of 16 away from home for the second leg, guys. She says good luck, and we're going to go see her later. We'll, we'll have more things coming up with her in future episodes, but at the moment, this part of the season is just so busy. We've got too much to do, guys, and we're going to be focusing on our football, seeing as it is our career and whatnot, guys. So as you can see, we have the round of 16 against Juventus away from home right now. And that's for the top goal scorers in the league at the moment. We're just looking there. And then Signe for Bayern Munich is there with nine. Dolberg as well. Promes. Uh, Perisic as well and guys just as we're heading out to the car we go to get in to the car and we notice something on our door we just go to pull it off and guys we realize it's another note it's exactly the same as the note before saying you have been warned stay away guys who is this person they, they know where I live they've come to my house now not just the game they haven't trashed my car this time but they've left a note identical to the last one and I kept the last one they left it on the windscreen guys what does that mean hit up the comments down below if you want to try and figure out what this mystery is guys and who it may be we'll be finding out very soon in the coming episodes as things start to unravel uh, for now we're going to try and focus on this next game we've got it's a big one it's the Aventus away from home as well so we're going to be heading off to the airport right now where we're going to be getting on a plane and heading off with the team and two children as you can see we're at the Rossi airport uh, Rossi airport in Paris guys and um, we're going to be he heading in there now assists in the league as you can see on this sheet here and Signe is top of the goal scores and top of the assists, so he's doing really well. Uh, Bamiyang for Juventus is pretty good with assists as well, who we will be playing against very soon. I don't think any of the PSG players except for Jesus has made it onto this list with two assists down to the bottom there. And as for the clean sheets so far in this, um, Ariello is only in eighth place with three clean sheets, and we've got Edison there with Manchester City with five clean sheets, so he's doing pretty good. Here we are, guys, leaving the... Um, leaving the car in the car park and we're going to be hopping on the team aeroplane but we're going to be heading off to the game against Juventus today in the Champions League so far this season guys we've played six games we've won pretty much all of them we've got four goals to our name and two assists we've got three clean sheets one yellow and one red card we got in the Champions League as well which is pretty funny and as you can see in the squad ranking guys we're still third Verratti and Neymar somehow still in front of us even though we're playing better than them in every aspect this season I believe but I'm not sure why that is guys so let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking about this whole Santi situation what you're thinking about who is putting these things on our car guys it's pretty crazy what's going on at the moment and we need to figure out some answers we need to figure out what is going on who it may be and why what is the motivation behind this guys but as you can see we're going to be heading straight into the very start of this game again Juventus right now because the start of the video didn't get recorded properly I don't know why but here we are into the first minute as we get going and we're going to be pushing forward with the first chance of the game Jesus Garcia trying to get a roulette going we're just making our way forward now look at the stadium it's huge guys it's an evening here it's a pretty big atmosphere here in Italy and it's going to be a massive game for us as well as you can see Juventus getting the ball back there playing it up the pitch Jesus gets a good tackle in and we're going to be trying to push forward with a chance of our own there Garcia Henderson Garcia back there to Silva and it hits Garcia's leg and it goes out of play for a throw in to Juventus guys here we come in the eighth minute with the first real chance of the game and it's coming with a good ball from Lucas can he put it through the middle yes he can look at this absolute peach of a pass there guys he's put it through really nicely to Jesus Garcia can he capitalize on this Jesus Garcia running to the box they got a great chance with the roulettes and the turns but not able to put it in the back of the net or pass it across goal and here we come with the next one but the shot or the block uh the um the cross gets blocked and we're going to be heading out into the next highlight now with 18 minutes played in this game guys an interception there from Lotum but losing it straight away to Andre Gomez pushing into the space now we've got a good chance for Dybala and Dybala's gonna made a very good shot and a very good save from Arieloa has kept that one out 22 minutes into this one now we're pushing forward guys further up this game to PSG Lucas there laying it to Neymar uh, not Neymar Jesus Garcia and getting a ball back there from Henderson but getting tackled just at the last second Neymar keeps this one in can he do anything with it now he's let off to the the edge and has hit the heel of Jesus Garcia and we've gone and lost the ball there very unfortunate for um PSG and we're doing really well in this game at the moment but we're just not doing well enough to get the goals as you can see getting cleared away once again by the defenders 44 minutes into this one now and we're going to be looking into having a break soon guys it's pretty tiring out there here away from home in Italy in Turin against Juventus is a pretty big fixture for all teams involved and it's going to be a pretty tough ask at the moment guys we have got the away goal advantage if we can score today almost conceding there in this game 45 minutes in, guys but if we do score remember at any point in this game 
game we will have pretty much a 2-0 lead because of the away goal advantage which could work very very greatly to our favor the main thing about playing them at home in the last leg was we didn't concede a goal so they don't have any away goal advantage on us which means we have a better chance of winning if we can't get the loose one goal out of this game guys so here we are getting the second half kicked off now for Juventus and they're going to be passing around quickly and quietly just trying to make their way forward as the time goes on in the game 17 minutes played in this one and can we get the ball back guys 20 minutes remaining possession is going to Juventus at the moment and they're actually playing really well in this game no one can get any shots away though it's been a real stale fixture and as you can see a pass there from the baller and a really good clearance almost off the line there Lizek going to get to Neymar and we're going to get a chance going forward now Verratti on the ball gets tackled and Dybala is coming forward with a good chance here for Juventus 77 minutes into the game Lucas Vasquez to get equalizer here he still looks like he's going to get a cross in I can't tell what he's going to do goes to Andre Gomez on the edge of the box Verratti makes a good block but we still haven't got the ball back there Aubameyang and Christiansen takes the shot there and it's been saved finally by the goalkeeper with 10 minutes remaining guys not long left in this game at all anymore still nil nil this game will go to extra time if it continues the way it's going guys as you can see here making our way down the left wing now Garcia tries to do a one-two there but it wasn't able to pull it off and here we go getting the ball back again though didn't see this coming can we push into the space now across into the box it sees it tackled by the defender and we're going to be heading into a corner now I think maybe after that guys and as you can see this corner kick here is a very vital one in the 85th minute can we get this one on target can we pass it across no this one straight back to the player guys and as you can see and hear from the music we've been knocked down after that challenge on Jesus Garcia the ball here from Juventus looks like it's going to be cleared out of play there it gets blocked and goes out and guys that's the end of my game here three minutes remaining and we've been stopped off for origi that's kind of i don't know what to say guys we've we haven't even been injured that bad this happened just a couple of matches ago and we got a slight knock and we've gone and got ourselves subbed off really frustrating guys number 17 he's just got here off the pitch and origi coming on to replace him with this game still at nil nil with two minutes left guys what is going to happen because it's such an important fixture i actually decided to watch the rest of this game played out by the cpu by the juventus and the um uh, psg players guys and we watched and we watched how extra time when end up going to extra time and look here guys in extra time Aubameyang getting thrown goal and scoring what could be the game winning goal we may have just lost in the Champions League and Jesus Garcia is completely helpless to do anything about it guys 94th minute into extra time and we've conceded a goal Juventus are 1-0 up which is really sucky if we can get one back before the final whistle blows guys we will actually end up winning this game because we will have that away goal advantage still but at the moment as it stands Aubameyang has scored his fourth goal in the Champions League and they will be progressing on to the next round unless PSG can get something from this chance here guys it's a big moment Lucas pushing forward in the 105th minute we've got a really good chance Lote in there Marquinhos can we put this in the back of the net or is it going to be a big dull dud Neymar there one two Garcia can he get it back he can Neymar it's finished and it's in the back of the net guys 105 minutes into this game we've gone and scored the equalizer which means we've got the away goal advantage as well Neymar finally breaking his goal scoring drought as well one pass there a cross goal another pass to the winger back to Neymar there with a pass and a great finish into the bottom corner of the net guys and we have taken a 1-1 lead believe it or not the lead which might just win us this game on aggregate on the away goal rule guys and here we are pushing forward now and there it goes what a relief guys I thought I'd show you that just to show we actually won without Jesus Garcia only just and only on away goals but we've done it extra time and we've gone and got a win here against Juventus which means we will be heading into the quarterfinals against a very big team which I'll tell you guys about very soon but as for the injury being picked up we're going to be heading out of this game now heading back home and uh, as you can see we've got the aeroplane guys and we're going to be checking out the injury we got and a few other bits and bobs before the end of this episode as you can see guys match facts we only had one shot on target and that was Neymar's goal other than that we had three Juventus had 12 shots with five on target and they only scored one which is a good sign for PSG guys we were able to push through and as you can see coming up next we have either got um, Borussia Dortmund or I oh don't know I think that's Atletico Madrid Bayern Munich or Manchester United in one of the next the next round which is the quarterfinals and then we've got the um, semis and then the finals as well as you can see the uh, <laughs> the injury we've got was only a bruised shoulder for five days that's it so we're going to be out for one game guys 
which we're going to be simming in this episode. Julian Draxler has also returned to training, which is good, so he might be taking Neymar's place, hopefully, uh, in the starting lineup for PSG, guys. So as you can see, we're back home here, and we've got a few things to run through. We've got a game against Montpellier coming up in this episode. Just to finish off, we're going to sim it while um, we are here at home recovering from our bruised elbow, our poor little elbow. And as you can see, guys, we're one point behind first place so we actually kind of need a win here in the league guys if we can get that win it'll be really good for the team to grab another three easy points on the table so here we are getting the game about to be simmed underway while we're resting at home guys at paris at home to montpellier and uh, can we do something from this game if we can do it like we've been doing in the champions league guys we've got one new up icono there and origi getting a slight knock injury as well but we're pushing on nicely into the first half and it looks like the first half is going to end with a 2-0 lead with henderson scoring the second goal as well and it looks like we're going to be cruising on for a nice easy three points here against Montpellier and uh, there goes the final whistle guys 3-0 as you can see there Edouard did I think his name is as well gets another one and we end up winning that game 3-0 which is really great so guys coming up in the next episode we got some pretty big things going on we got a games and as you can see here we're currently sitting with a game in hand which is the OGC Nice game against the other people in the league Bordeaux we're currently sitting top we got an international friendly we're going to be skipping against Norway because we did not get selected for the team and we've also got an international friendly against Germany which we didn't get selected for either so we're going to be skipping those two games after the next one and then we've got a game against RC Lens to come uh, in the next episode and then we've got a game against Bayern Munich guys we're going to be playing in the quarterfinals of the Champions League we've got two fixtures of that which is going to be crazy as you can see guys and then we also have the Copa de la Liga final against FC Nancy's coming up at the end of the month. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please give us a like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.